Kamusta? Kamusta ka? Let me give you guys five seconds to guess what I'm trying, what I'm saying. Drum roll, please. Yeah, we're going to the Philippines today. So welcome guys to another video of me trying out national dishes around the world without leaving Toronto. So today we are going to the Philippines. Filipinos are very, very hardworking people. Like if you're ever in a workplace and you have a Filipino person, just be cautious. They're very fast. They work like machines. Like you're like, you know, what's going on? But they're very hardworking people. Especially when you have those ate, they will always bring you something. They're always like offering you food. Like, yeah, try this. Why don't you do this? Da, 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 da. Like there are people like that. It's just like, in, that's the vibe. And I've, I've been around like work and be in school with Filipinos a lot and I've never had a bad experience with a Filipino person. I'm not saying they're all perfect but they're just like they just have this energy like you're like yeah I want to be around those people that kind of you know. Anyways so today like I said we're going to the Philippines so we'll be trying out their national dish today. Without further ado let us dive into this video. All right, guys, so this is the Filipino restaurant we're going to. It's called Tinuno. It's on Bato Street West. So the address is on the screen. You guys can check it out. When I came in, it's something that you can always come for a takeout. And they also have a space for dining also, which is what we did. Because I, did, I went with my friend. So I got this lumpa, which was $5. And it came with this sweet and sour sauce with it. And uh, what's it called? I was very skeptical about the taste, but then I was like, okay. And the main menu was the Kamaya, which is what we add, which was uh, $25 per person. And it comes with the shrimp, it has mussels, it has this okra, but I was like, nah, I am definitely not eating this okra. It's not like the way we Africans actually cooked us. And this is also, this is a squid. My friend doesn't like squid, so like she's not like a seafood person. I was like, perfect, perfect, perfect. He has an eggplant, he has pork, it has fish, it has orange, and everything on it, which is actually interesting. And one thing about Filipinos also, they cannot do without eating rice. And they also has mussels on it. I love mussels, trust me. If you know me, you know that's one of my favorite seafood. Let me just like, you know, yeah, this is the eggplant I was talking about. I really like, I add it and I was like, ah, uh, no, I'm not going to be eating this. No, 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 no. This is not for me. I'm sorry. I ate it and I realized, no, I don't want this. Anyways, let me just give you guys a little bit of fact about Filipinos. That's actually surprising for me to actually learn about also. But first of all, the capital is Manila and they are also, they are home to the world's largest under river, like underground river. I'm like, okay. I was kind of like, I don't know that. And it's also, it has 300 volcanoes and there's 300 volcanoes in the Philippines because it is located like along the Pacific Ring of Fire. So it's always active. This was the fish we had. I can't remember. I think it was called white fish or something like that. That was the fish. And Filipinos love karaoke. Oh my God. They love, 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 love karaoke. If you see like people that can sing of Filipinos, they're actually very talented. Like God gave them this gift. I'm like, wow, he gets us so like i don't know you're so lucky to have this from god the filipinos are known for being polite you're always gonna use man sir kind of stuff like that and in the restaurant it got so filled up and trust me everybody guess like everybody in the old restaurant actually ordered for this kamaya i was like wow this is interesting i don't know this was a very popular stuff anyways for the desserts i had this alo alo and it was nine dollars I loved it. There was this Costa stuff that was inside. I was like, wow, this is really good. Oh my God. When we're leaving, I actually went there. I'm like, please, can I get extra of this stuff? It was, it was so good. They were like, yeah, we sell old plates. I'm like, I don't want a lot. But then they gave me extra, which I was so happy about. They speak 175 languages. Uh, Philippines, uh, Filipinos are known for, like their num capital of the world when it comes to texting because they are always on your phone if they're not spending time with their families. And 25% of nurses around the world are actually Filipinos because there is no uh, opportunity for them to work there. So they tend to travel abroad, which gives them the job. And they really love basketball as well. It's a very, very popular spot for them. It's not a national sport. It's just very among one of the popular spots they do love. Filipinos cannot do without rice. Like anything, they always have to have rice in. I'm like, wow, it's not as serious. 
and Filipinos, like it's a lot of, it's a Christian kind of nation. It's the only kind of Christian nation in Asian world compared to others that practice Buddhism and every other stuff. I really loved everything. It was a very great experience. That's a wrap on trying out the Filipino dish for today. And I still have my drink. It's all melted because the ice dissolved in it. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next country. Salamat!